Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create WOTC subtitles in Premiere Pro. So let's just jump right into it. So the very first step is grabbing the text tool and typing a word up here. So for now, I'm just going to use the word WOTC. And then I'm also going to change the font of this. So I'm just going to double click and go into the effects control panel and open up the text layer. I'm going to use the same font as WOTC. So if you guys want to know what it is, I believe it's Geometos, if that's how you pronounce it, but I believe that's what it is. And then we're going to go to our selection tool and grab this blue little circle and drag it into the middle by holding control and it should snap on. And then we're just going to adjust the size of this as well so making it a little bigger and then grabbing it holding control and dragging it right into the middle next up is just changing the colors of this text so for now just double click this text and go to the effects panel and scroll down until you see the fill we're going to click on the white here and change this white color to the yellow so i'm just going to change it to this yellow right here which looks pretty similar to wadzi's color and then we're just going to minimize this text layer and then make sure this text layer is selected we're going to do control c and then control v so it's duplicated this text layer make sure the top text layer is selected and then go to the program and double click on the text we're going to change this color as well so open up that text layer and scroll down to the fill and we're going to change it to a brownish color so it's going to be this color right here we're going to click ok minimize this text layer once again and drag this bottom text which is the yellow colored text above it so you should be able to see the yellow text once again open up the text layer that is on the bottom which is the brown text we're going to scroll down until we see the transform and change the position from 540 to 551 head up to the effects panel and type in wave warp drag that wave warp right onto your text layer and go up to the effects control panel. We're going to change some of these wave warp settings like so. For the height, we're going to change it to 3. For the wave width, we're going to change it to 349. And finally, for the wave speed, we're just going to change it to 0.7. Head up to the effects panel once again and type in VR glow. Just drag that right onto our text layer once again. And then make sure you click off this auto VR properties and change the vertical to 77, luma threshold to 0.1, glow radius to 33, and the glow brightness to 0.6 and then just crank up that glow saturation to 10. We're also going to want to change the tint color from white to yellow so just select this eyedropper and select the yellow that is on screen for your text and as you can see we have the basic design down pat. Now we're just going to animate it a little bit so head up to the effects panel and type in transform drag that right onto your text layer and then the first thing we're going to do with this transform layer is deselect this check mark and crank the shutter angle to 360. I'm going to scroll in a bit and go right to the front and drag our blue tracer to about the middle of the one second mark. Create a keyframe for the scale. Don't change anything, leave it at 100. We're gonna drag our blue tracer to the middle right here and change this scale to 110. And then drag our blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change it to 80. Just gonna adjust this middle keyframe a little bit so it's nice and centered. And then all we're gonna do is select all three keyframes, right click, ease in, and right click, ease out. The animation does look very slow, so I'm just gonna move these keyframes a little bit closer together. So it's just clean. I think that looks good. So we got that first animation down pat. Now the second animation Wadzi uses is just adding on to this original animation. So all we have to do is just drag our blue tracer a little bit forward and then create a keyframe for the scale and then move our blue tracer a little bit forward and then change this scale down to 90. Select both these keyframes, right click ease in and right click ease out. And the final step is just moving these subtitles to where you want them to be. So just scroll all the way down in your effects control panel and change them in the video settings. So I'm just going to drag the position down a little bit so it looks something like this. And if you guys want a really easy way to implement these subtitles into your videos, all you have to do is minimize all of the effects that you just used. We're going to select all of them by holding control. Make sure you select the motion one as well. We're going to right click and save as preset. For now, I'm just going to call it Wadzi and make sure you click the anchor to in point and just select OK. So say for instance, this is my entire video. All we have to do is go to the text layer, select it and select it up here as well. Don't type anything in. We're going to grab the selection tool and drag this text layer to the beginning and also to the end of your entire video. Now you're just going to cut where you want each new subtitle to appear. So for instance, I want one here, here, right here, and here. All you have to do is select all of these cut layers, go up to your presets, just find the WOTC one, and then just select it and drag it right onto these cut layers. And just like that, you have subtitles on your video. If you learned something new today, consider subscribing. And if you want to learn two motion effects that will level up your animations, click the video on screen. That's everything for me, guys. Peace out.